everybody welcome back to sign by roxy so today's video is going to be a what my one-year-old baby eats in a day and i know obviously i feel like if she's a one-year-old then riley shouldn't be considered a baby anymore she's considered a toddler but you know what she's my baby she's always going to be my baby so anyway we start off the day at around 7 a.m and i give her a bottle as you can see, I'm trying to make use of the time that I have that she's like staying still and trying to clean her ears because we did get her ears pierced a few days ago and I just try to make sure that I clean it twice a day and really the best time for me to do it is when she is staying still and that's usually when she's taking a bottle. So for her first solid meal for the day, that's at around like 8.30 a.m. and I love giving her waffles because they're so easy. So basically I just get two bananas. The more ripe they are, the better mash that up and then add two eggs and then i also add in a cup of flour and then i also add in a fourth of a cup of these baby oats just because we have so many lying around add a bit of baking powder add a cup of milk and then i just have to mix that all up and then after is when i put in the cinnamon so you can use this as sparingly as you want honestly i don't really like measuring and then i grab my little waffle maker that i got from target you guys i swear this is like one of the best $10 purchases I've ever had. Just brush a bit of olive oil or butter on the little waffle maker and then two to three spoonfuls of the batter is good enough for one waffle and then just wait for it to get cooked. You guys, I swear this is so easy. This is also not a messy dish, which is great because that means less cleanup for the baby. Also, as you can see, she gets very, very hangry sometimes and cranky. And what I like to do is just make a big batch of these waffles just so that, you know, I have something to give her before she gets all angry. I like to serve some kind of fruit on the side to go with her waffles. And for that day, we had a bit of watermelon. So I chopped up a few tiny pieces for her and yeah, she was good. She was happy, you guys. Okay, so for lunch, it's technically pretty easy because I just use up leftovers from dinner the day before. And for this one, we have like chicken wings, so I just like to heat that up in the oven toaster. If you did want to see how I prepare the chicken wings, don't worry, I got you. I do use the air fryer, so what I do is I lay my chicken out and I do pat them dry just to make it a little bit easier. And then I make a little mixture of baking powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of pepper. Again, you guys, I really hate measuring, so honestly, I just eyeball a lot of this so I just mix it all together and then lightly drizzle it all over the chicken and then I kind of rub it with my fingers just a little bit just to make sure that it really sticks onto the chicken so you do this on both sides and then you place it inside your air fryer with the skin side down again guys skin side down is the way to go um, also make sure that you do not overcrowd your chicken so I just put it in there at like 400 degrees for 15 minutes and then I take them out I do flip them over so that means the skin goes up this time again try and make sure they don't touch each other and then put it back inside for another 400 degrees this time at 13 minutes this is what they look like when they're done they are so crispy they are so good even me and my husband love this okay back to the video so I also had leftover steamed veggies for Riley so I just put that on her plate and then I just put that in the microwave just to heat it up a little bit um, we also had a bit of Hawaiian bread so that was gonna be her carbs for her lunch and and for her chicken, I do like to help her out a little bit. So I kind of just like, you know, separate the bone from each other. And then when I'm done prepping her lunch, that's when I grab her. I put her in her high chair, strap her in, and then, you know, put on her bib, all the little things. I've done this so many times. It honestly feels like autopilot sometimes. But anyway, so this is her lunch and she loves it. And I'm just so happy that, you know, she's taken to liking vegetables most of the time. She also does this um, really cute thing where she kind of like shares her food, like she just lifts it up and tries to give it to you. And I just think it is the cutest thing. At around 1 p.m. is when I give her another serving of milk and usually I give it to her in like a little hydro flask but for this specific time um, I kind of gave it to her in a bottle because I did want to file her nails because they've been getting a little sharp lately and she's kind of been scratching me all over so again this is really the 
only time that I can do things like this because if you have a toddler then you would know that it is very very challenging to have them you know just staying still and not moving all over the place as you can see I am already struggling with her like trying to get the little nail file thingy so you know everything's a process so after her 2 p.m. nap, I usually wake her up at around like 3.30 p.m. with a hydro flask of milk. So this is usually where I put her whole milk in. Um, and then I give her a little snack. Sometimes I give her like these animal crackers. Um, but for this one, we had like veggie straws. So I just chill with her on the couch. And she just loves to eat you guys. Like my daughter, she takes after me and my husband. We eat dinner pretty early at our house at like 5 p.m. which means I am usually preparing for dinner at around like 3.30 p.m. or 4 p.m. and for dinner tonight we were gonna have some garlic shrimp so here I am just chopping up a lot of cloves of garlic the more garlic the better because we love garlic. So I have the pan on a low heat and then I just put some olive oil and I let the garlic kind of just marinate the oil. While waiting, I decided to prepare her veggie tots. So these are made of cauliflower and she doesn't have this all the time, you guys, but she does love it. So I just put them on a little baking tray and have my oven set to 450 degrees at around like 16 to 18 minutes. And because as a mom, I feel like you are constantly just multitasking, I also decided to boil a pot of water for her veggies and while waiting i decided to go and take a look at my garlic that was in the pan and then i just added my shrimp and when my pot of boiling water was ready i also dunked in just a little bit of these mixed veggie packs that i got from the commissary I know there's still a lot of veggies like on her plate, but trust me, this plate was clean when she was done. So she does eat her veggies. And then at 7 p.m. is when she gets her last bottle of the day. Obviously this is like after she's been cleaned up and then right before she goes to sleep, we also get her to brush her teeth. And that's it. That's what my one-year-old toddler eats in a day. Hope you guys like the video.